Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am totally a newbie when it comes to posting YouTube videos. I have never posted a YouTube video before, but I decided to start posting on this channel because I absolutely love this game and I love how you can share your creativity with others through your builds and the Touch of Magic tool. And I love a lot of other games too, but this is the main game that I'm gonna be focusing on since this is what pretty much got me obsessed right now. Since I'm new to YouTube, I really hope that you can bear with me and that you can bear with my Swedish accent, that it isn't too much for you to listen to it. But with all of that said, let's get started with the purpose of this video. So, but what you can see by the title, uh, you already probably know what this video is about. This is going to be a Touch of Magic video, and there was someone that said to me that they really wanted to have this dress, and it's super simple. I mean, it's super, super, super simple and quick. Anyone can do it, so that is why I wanted to make this video, to show you how to make this dress. So, as you can see, my inventory is kind of empty right now out of Touch of Magic clothing items because I kind of decluttered it a little bit. But the dress that I'm going to be showing you how I made is this black sleeveless dress with this little kind of lace thingy on it. And it's super simple, super easy and super quick to do. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. So I'm obviously gonna be starting out by getting an empty dress or like a base for the dress or whatever. And since I already have a black dress, I'm gonna pick another color, but feel free to do whatever color you want and feel free to also make like the long sleeve dress if you want to. I like how it looks with the no sleeve dress, so I'm just gonna stick with the no sleeve dress. So as I said, this is super simple. I'm just gonna pick a color. Hmm, what color do I want? Maybe, maybe I'll make a purple dress this time. So what I actually do to make this dress is I go into the shape section right here and we're going to be picking the square. And to kind of match it to like your skin color, you're maybe not wanting to use the same shade that I'm using. As you can see, there are a bunch of different shades here. And none of them is really a perfect match to the skin colors. But I'm going to show you a simple technique that you can use uh, to apply to your clothing to make like the skin coloring look a little bit more realistic so i'm just gonna pick uh, the lightest shade here and i'm going to rotate this triangle and i'm kind of going to see what size and shape <laughs> i want it i mean you can do bigger you can do smaller i'm just gonna stick with like this thing kind of size i think that looks good so after you place down this little triangle thingy this is super simple, as I said. You're just gonna go into the shape section again, and you're gonna choose this kind of C-shaped, and we're going to rotate it, and we're gonna go into the settings menu, and we're gonna turn off this little globe thingy. So that means it's not gonna like follow the like how do you say the curves of the body or whatever. It's gonna lay a little bit more flat, and then we're gonna go into the color section, and we're just gonna pick the same color as the dress. And as you can see, the color kind of do doesn't match the dress perfectly, but we're going to fix that as well. So don't you worry about it. So I'm going to place this kind of like how where I want like the straps to go for the lace dress so I'm gonna put the the first one kind of like over there and for the purpose of this video I'm just gonna make two stripes because I feel that will be a little bit more quicker because I kind of just want to show you how to do it I don't want to waste your time and you kind of have to like adjust the sizing so that they fit and like kind of look on the angle, see if they are laying like how you want them to lay. And after you've done that, you're gonna go back into the shape section and you're gonna pick this square and you're going to make it the biggest size. 
So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slightly rotate it and then I'm going to place the square so it lines up with the, the angle of the little square so it covers up. And then we're gonna continue uh, by just making this copy paste to the other side basically so you're just gonna click this little icon in the menu and that's gonna make that the same shape also appears on the other side so after you've done that you're just gonna basically continue to add shapes so that you kind of have the full coloration or whatever from the dress and if you want to do any other patterns like down here on the dress maybe make it look like a drapey thingy or what it's called on the back I mean you can do that you can do whatever you want I'm just gonna leave a little bit of opening here at the front so it kind of looks like there's some layers to the dress or whatever and I'm just gonna line this up like this click this thingy again and now you can see we kind of have this little middle thing and sometimes they don't line up properly so you just gotta go back and fix it a little bit like this and just gonna see if it looks okay in the back uh, i'm actually gonna leave this little triangle in the back because i think it looks cute and then for the top part i mean if you want to you could leave it like this it kind of adds some kind of cool like how do you say it <laughs> additional detail to the dress but i'm gonna make it the same color so i'm just gonna go back into shapes and now we're gonna pick the square and i'm just gonna make sure it's a good size and i'm kind of going to yeah place it on her boob basically like this just make sure it lines up properly and then we're gonna duplicate it to the other side again and now that you kind of have the base for your dress i'm gonna show you how you make the lace so you actually go back in here and you're gonna go to the flourishes and you can pick whatever you like like if you like this one more or this one or if you have other ones unlocked you can use them as well i like to use this one kind of like how it looks and for this dress i'm gonna do some kind of maybe dark purple lace i don't know what color i like let's go for this one and you're just gonna place it for now on top because we're gonna move this layer later and then we're gonna go back click this thingy and i'm just gonna rotate it to like when i see a pattern i like i like to play around with it and make like different patterns i'm actually gonna flip this around because i think it will fit much more better and then i'm gonna place it like this as you can see now this looks kind of cute too but this is not what we were going for so what you're gonna do right now we're gonna move this lace layer if i can grab it and we're actually gonna put it on top of this one but make sure that it's behind all of the other squares that we place down so like the edges or whatever is outside of the edges won't be visible so as you can see now by doing that you now have the lace layer underneath and you can see it shining through if you want to you can make your lace more detailed i'm not gonna do that for the purpose of this video and now i'm gonna show you how you can make the skin color look a bit more realistic so you're gonna go back into the shape section over here and you're gonna pick one of these gradients you can try whichever one you like see what works best i like to use this one and i'm gonna go into the coloration and the color i found works best for the skin tone that i'm using is this pink that is right above the skin color that we picked right here and then i'm just gonna rotate this so we don't get the harsh line anywhere and i'm gonna kind of place it like this in a way that you can't see the edges and the same way that we did with the lace layer i'm going to move it down and make sure that it's on top of the skin layer and make sure that the lace layer are on top of this layer as you can see now it kind of adds some kind of realistic effect to it um I don't know it still doesn't look like a perfect skin color but i think it does the work of making it look a little bit more realistic so now i'm just gonna do some finishing touches to the dress and i'll see you when i'm done
so this is me all finished with the dress I kind of didn't put too much work into it because this was just a tutorial dress you can make any shape with kind of the underneath of the dress showing through like I did right here you can literally do this in any color you want for the long sleeve dress and for the shoulderless dress so i really hope that you like this video and i hope that you can make this pretty lace dress at home now and thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next one bye